What's good, R&B squad? This is Otta Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you are new here, welcome. We're happy to have you. And Jesus is, of course, always happier. So, just when I thought everything was going to be rainbows and butterflies, God came through with a judgment word for February. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the word. Now, this is for those of you who have been under attack, and you may not even be aware that you're under attack. So let me tell you what is happening. It's some folk who have decided how the rest of your year is going to go, okay? So it's some folk that they don't like you for whatever reason. They're against you. They're against the plans that God has for your life. And they've decided how the rest of your year is going to go. So they've decided that they're going to try their very best to control the narrative of the rest of your year regarding various things in your life. And most of that is out of jealousy. Most of it is out of being envious of the fact that God intends to bless you in multiple areas, okay? So I'm going to get right into the dream that I had and the scripture that the Lord gave me to accompany the dream. In this dream, I saw this person sitting in a chair, and it looked like that person was waiting to be executed, like it had reached the hour for that person to be executed. They were actually on death row, and it was their execution day, and it was moments before they were executed. And I looked at this person sitting in this chair waiting to be electrocuted. And I remember asking the Lord, what is this? What are you showing me? And the Lord said to me, Isaiah chapter 59. And it's a couple of verses that he highlighted in there. So first of all, Isaiah chapter 59, verses 1 to 3. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear you. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue hath muttered perverseness. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down because it's a couple other scriptures that he highlighted. For he hath put on righteousness as a breastplate. This is verses 17 to 19. For he hath put on righteousness as a breastplate, and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands he will repay recompense. So they shall fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Amen. So, for whom this word is for? Anyone that thinks that they can thwart God's plans over your life, whether it be his plans for your personal advancement, his plans for your professional advancement, his plans for your spiritual advancement, his plans for your financial advancement, his plans for your marriage promise, whatever God has spoken over your life, Whoever is trying to thwart those plans and throw them off and is looking for little last minute ways to try to throw a monkey wrench in the whole situation to throw it off, God said he's got some for them. And it's about to be some judgment. It's about to be some judgment. They're about to be executed. I hope that this word bless someone. I love you guys. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.